Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, I'm ending the Best of Beauty series for 2021 with my all-time favorite lip products and I could not be more excited. Okay, so what makes me an expert on lip products, you ask? I have probably close to 500 lip products in my collection. So, I mean, I feel like I know what I'm talking about. Anyways, um, so I've gone through all of those and I've picked out my top favorites from each category. And I feel like you will soon see why some of these are my favorites. I don't want to say any more though. Let's just get into it. Okay, first things first, let's talk lip balms. I have managed to narrow my favorites down to two. And of those two, I have four of one and 12 of another. Um, let's, <laughs> let's start with the Summer Fridays Butter Bombs. These are beyond words. Um, I don't know if you follow, why am I drawing a blank? Um, the f Wait, that was awkward. Um, Mariana Hewitt, obviously. She started out on YouTube and then created her own makeup line or skincare line, Summer Fridays. If you haven't already tried them, try them. They're incredible. Anyways, they launched their, um, butter bombs a few years ago. Packaging was not great. Product was incredible. Anyways, they... I don't think they reformulated the bombs, but they did redo the packaging. And so these are the four that I have. I've obviously got two of the same. So they originally relaunched these um, in just the vanilla beige shade, which was perfect. Then they came out a couple months ago um, with their limited edition set with the trio, which has the vanilla beige, the vanilla, and the brown sugar, which... BRB. Smells incredible. Um, these are amazing. They all smell wonderful. They are slightly pigmented, which is also kind of nice. So I don't use these um, before bed. I would with the just clear beige shade, but I do put these on just during the day over a lip liner or on their own because they're so comfortable. They're glossy and they're just wonderful. They're cruelty free. You need these in your life. A thousand percent. Next up, I feel like we're all friends here and there's no judgment, right? Perfect. Um, the <laughs> Laneige Lip Sleeping Masks. Okay. Do I like these? Do I have an addiction to these? I will let you be the judge. I have these three full size. I have these full size, which are still in their boxes. And then I maybe possibly have um, two of these. <laughs> so I have in front of me three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, only 11. I'm fine. Um, 11 of these lip, lip sleeping masks. Anyways, why do I love them? They smell beyond incredible. The shades or flavors or whatever you want to call them are so wonderful i have what's this apple lime i have just the original which is like a grapefruit berry shade or scent the ginger snap yes um i have peach iced tea peppermint <laughs> and oh, i have sweet candy um okay um, clearly I love these and here is why. Yes, they smell amazing. I do love the packaging, the little tubes. I love how colorful they are. I think that's cute. They look great on a little bedside table. Um, but most importantly, they are wonderful on the lips. They're so comfortable. They lock in moisture. I do not go to sleep ever without lathering this on my lips. And believe me when I tell you, when I wake up, even these tiny small lips now are juicy and plump and amazing and 
yes, if you don't already have one of these lip sleeping masks in your life, please do yourself a favor because they are amazing. Um, the only thing I don't necessarily love about them, if I'm being honest, is obviously the tub is not necessarily the most hygienic, um, especially in our time, our life in COVID. Um, but they do come with the little spatulas, each one of them, which I think is incredible if you don't already know what they look like. It comes in a cute little packet. And dun, dun, dun. it's like that. So you're just scooping the product out. Um, you can apply it straight to the lips, apply it to your finger if your hand is clean. Um, and yes, I love them. I can't get enough of them. I just want all the flavors because they complete my life. The end. I love them. I should have convinced you. I've got 11 of them. Okay. Um, next up, let's talk lip liners. I think everyone's favorite lip liners are the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheats. I have three. I have, oh, they're so small, two of the Pillow Talk liners. It's obviously almost time for another one. Um, and then I have another lip cheat in the shade Iconic Nude. So these are super pigmented, super natural on the lips. That's what I love about them the most. You're lining your lips, but you can overline, which some of us have to do now. Um, you can overline them so effortlessly and I feel like no one will know that you're cheating your lips. So these are a definite must have if you are a lip liner wearer like I am. Um, and then the next favorite lip liner in my collection is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour 2.0. I have these two. Um, I have Pinky Brown, which is my all time favorite. And then in that Sephora Favorites kit, it came with the Honey Bay shade. These are, ugh, these are twist, twist top ones, twist up ones, um, which I do prefer to the sharpener ones, like the Charlotte Tilbury uh, lip cheats, because that's kind of annoying to have to always have a pencil sharpener. Anyways, I'm just going to swatch that. So that's the Huda Beauty one. Super, blends out super easily very creamy and I will just do a quick little swatch of Pillow Talk next to it there. Where's Pillow Talk? Pillow Talk's that one there. Again, does blend out not as easily as the Huda Beauty ones so they are far more creamy and delicious and amazing. So if you are in the market for a lip liner in 2022, definitely suggest these two. Okay, um, probably my favorite lip product or category of lip product are lip plumpers. I think I bought my first lip plumper. I want to say I was not quite 10. Um, I am obsessed with everything lip plumper. I want plumper lips, big juicy lips. Lip, plum lip plumpers sometimes do that, sometimes they don't. However, placebo effect, if I think it's working, maybe it is. Um, okay, so the two favorites from this year are definitely the Dior Lip Maximizer, which I talked about in my last video, and if you follow me on my blog, um, I talk quite a bit about them there. They 1000% plump the lips. They have, oh, it's a highly ironic lip plumper, obviously. Um, they plump the lips. They do have a slight tingly feeling when you put them on, um, but they're incredible. I can wear this on its own over a lip liner. I usually have the clear one. This was a new shade. What is it? Cherry. Um, so I had to try it out. But they definitely plump the lips. They're comfortable. They are pricey. However, it's COVID. Treat yourself. Next up. Fenty Beauty has launched so many wonderful lip products. <laughs> the gloss bombs, the cream gloss bombs. What else do they have? The Stunna lip paints. Those bombs, didn't love those. Anyways, out of all of the lip products that Fenty Beauty has come out with, I love the Fenty Heat lip plumpers. They smell like the gloss bomb, but spicy. It's like a, sp a spicy take on the OG plumper or OG gloss, who knows? Um, anyways, they smell lovely. 
they aren't super pigmented obviously i just put this one on in the shade fenty glow heat um supernatural this is something i would wear just during the day on its own it does sting a tiny bit nothing that really bothers me though but these are incredible so they came out first with the shade hot cherry i didn't necessarily love this shade because i don't wear a ton of red lip products which is strange since now i always talk about them um but yeah wasn't super sold on this however the formula i loved so i picked up the fenty glow heat fenty glow heat yes um and now i'm obsessed i will say if you're wanting a lip plumper in this shade i would almost just go for this kind of similar keep that in mind um let me know below if you've tried these i feel like a lot of people don't know about them or haven't tried them yet i love them you need them in your life and that brings us to lip oils not a fan of lip oils typically um i feel like i've tried several of them from sephora or even the drugstore and i mean i get that it's a lip oil so when i say that i was annoyed at how oily they were it probably doesn't sound great um but yeah, I just, I've never really liked the way that they feel on the lips. I don't find them to be super comfortable. I also find that sometimes when they're super oily, when they get in your mouth, they taste weird. They leave a funny feeling in your mouth. Maybe it's just me, who knows? Um, anyways, so when I found the Merit Tinted Lip Oils, that has changed my mind. These are super comfortable, as I mentioned in another video. Super comfortable. These are surprisingly pigmented, but in a natural way. Well, besides the sangria shade, which obviously is darker. Um, but the other ones, let me just do a quick little swatch here on my hand. You can build it up so that they're more pigmented. You can put it on your lips and dab it on so it's more of like a really natural looking stain but don't mind the lip liner. Um, so those are them there. So I've got the shade Pink Beat and what is it? Oh, Natural. But they're just so comfortable. Like again, you can just dab it down so it leaves a hint of color. I think they're incredible. Um, the shade range is lovely. If they wanted to come out with more, I certainly would not be opposed to that. Um, but yeah, such an incredible formula. If you're looking for like a lip gloss but that's not super high shine in your face glossy definitely try these out they are kind of pricey i think they're 30 30 dollars um so i mean not the cheapest however they are definitely lovely i love them these will definitely be coming into 2022 with me and hopefully will be in my life for many years to come now let's talk glosses so, I was surprised I was able to narrow my favorites down to two. However, there are only two formulas really that were on repeat in 2021, and they are the Lip Candy Glosses and the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. We will start with the Lip Candy. Um, so again, I mentioned these now in several videos because they're amazing. Um, it's a local brand in Toronto. They are made with natural products. They're pigmented. They are the right amount of gloss and shine. They stay on your lips forever. They smell. I feel like I've talked about this in every video, like blueberries. They're wonderful. I love them. Definitely check these out if you're in the market for a gloss that you can feel good about wearing because they are not filled with junk like a lot of lip products are. Now, Let's talk about the lifter glosses. I, okay, I feel like they launched sometime last year, then they went wild. They were all over the internet. Fine, I've gone through my collection. I thought I only had one left. I have five. <laughs> um, they are the perfect amount of gloss. Let's do a little swatch. You can barely see that. Glossy very balmy they are quite thick 
the doe foot applicator is hold the phone very much like the fenty applicator i mean yes which is obviously large and in charge which is what we want for our lips um so again they are glossy they are balmy they plump the lips they are so comfortable it's like wearing like a thick balm on your lips it's almost kind of like the laneige lip sleeping masks they're thick they're balmy they're juicy they're amazing i am swatching all of these on my hand just so you can see because feel like your life is missing out on these if you do not have them in your life okay there are all the shades that i have so they're all very sheer except for this last one which i think was a new one uh, in the shade reef so it is a little more creamy than the other ones um but they're so comfortable on the lips they're obviously glossy like high shine yes perfect to layer over a lip liner and lipstick or again just to wear on their own they do plump the lips they're 12 dollars at most i think at shoppers or any of the drugstores um so yeah these are incredible i love them i will say everyone was talking about them being a dupe for the fenty gloss bombs they are <sighs> And I prefer these to the gloss bombs. I said it. I'm sorry. But I do. They're amazing in every way possible. So if you're looking for a gloss that's comfortable, definitely check these out. And we are down to our final two categories um, of my favorite lip products. And this next one should come as no surprise. The Rare Beauty, what are they called? Matte Lip Souffles. Come on. Um, if you follow me on Instagram or on my blog or know me in person, then you know I love these. They are hands down the most comfortable liquid lip I have ever tried on in my life. They are moussey, they are creamy, they are comfortable, they do not dry the lips down. Um, these ones are so pigmented and I love everything that Rare Beauty stands for. So these are a definite must have. I did swatch the shade Inspire, this one, um, in my favorite red lip video. So you might remember this or fine, I'll swatch them all again. Um, so they're just so wonderful. I can't say enough wonderful things about them because I love them and they have completely changed my mind on what I thought liquid lipsticks were. So praise be to Selena Gomez. Who owns this brand? I mean, come on. They are amazing. So this darkest shade here, in case you're wondering, is Transform. The hot pink shade there is called Ascend. That beige shade next to Inspire is called Courage and then Inspire. So if you're in the market for a liquid lipstick and don't want your lips to disappear, definitely try these out. Um, they're incredible. End of story. Let's move on. And last but not least, my sweet, sweet friends. I have two lipsticks. Now, Lipstick and Bubbly is my name. Ish. I do not like lipsticks. Um, I don't find them to be comfortable to wear. Um, I like, I like lipsticks. I like the packaging of lipsticks. I like the bullet of a lipstick. I like the thought of a lipstick. I do not like to wear lipsticks. Not sure why then I have hundreds in my collection. However, we will save that chat for another day. Anyways, these two lipsticks again, have changed my mind. They are comfortable. They feel more like a balm on my lips. So I have been reaching for them. First one is from Cheekbone Beauty, which if you are not familiar with cheek Cheekbone Beauty, wait until after this video is done. Please Google them. 
And if you have money to buy something, please do, because their mission is incredible. Jen, their founder, is incredible. Everything about them is amazing. These lipsticks um, come in recyclable packaging. Everything is just amazing. Anyways, this is the lipstick shade Kea, K-E-Y-A-H. So obviously, if I'm going to wear a lipstick, it's going to be nude. It's the perfect nude shade. There it is there. Super creamy. Again, very balmy, very comfortable on the lips. It's not drying. I don't know what more to say. It's amazing. I love it. I definitely want to try more shades of this. And Cheekbone Beauty is now on the Sephora Canada website. So you have no excuse. Go and check them out. Thank you. And last but not least, a Huda Beauty lipstick um, from their cream, cream lipstick line. And it is in the shade Angel. First of all, packaging is not everything. However, in this case it is. It is so pretty. And look at this bullet. I mean... <sighs> Swipe it. Next to the cheekbone one. Okay, so this is the Huda Beauty. This is the cheekbone beauty one. So pigmented in such a beautiful, creamy way. Um, it's so comfortable. It's kind of got a slight glossy sheen to it. Am I seeing that properly? Yeah, I mean, it's certainly not a matte lipstick. Um, so comfortable. When I wear these two lipsticks, I do just dab them onto my lips um, because I do find they do get more drying, any lipsticks in general, when you kind of just layer it on your lips directly. Um, so I do like to pat it down. I find that it is more comfortable and it's longer lasting when it apply it like that. Maybe that's just me or maybe that's something everyone's doing and I was just late to that party again. Um, so again, definitely an incredible lipstick. Those two are my favorites. So I think, I guess if that's everything, then we are done talking about lipsticks today or lip products. Um, let me know below if you've tried any of these formulas and which ones you like or if you haven't tried any of these, what lip products have you been reaching for this year? I need to know. Do I need them in my life? Tell me everything. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.